All right, what's up, guys? Billy B back with you for week number 15. I'll be your host this week as Jason P could not make it again. Um, me and Sean P both went 2-2 two and two last week, and Jason P went 0-4. Oh so we'll be looking to rebound here at Team Take this week. So with that, I'm going to give you my first pick and Jason's pick, and then we'll send it over to Sean. My first pick is the Indianapolis Colts, minus 6.5, and, and Jason's is the 49ers, plus 10. Sean, what do you got? What's up, everybody? Sean P. here, back with you guys for week number 15 of the NFL season. Last week, I went 2-2, two and two, as Billy B. mentioned in the open, and unfortunately, I lost my lock of the week. The lock of the week has been so solid for me this year. It was 10-3 and three before last week. That loss brings me to 10-4 and four on the year. Look at the rebound this week, so let's get right into the picks. The first pick I like this week is the Dallas Cowboys, who are plus three against the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, about four weeks ago, me and my friend were talking, who's a Cowboys fan, and he asked me to go down the list of the games and see for the Eagles and the Cowboys who I thought would win each game outright. So far, I have actually not lost a single game. I have accurately predicted every single game from the Cowboys and Eagles schedules up to this point. Now, I had originally the Cowboys beating the Eagles this week, and I don't think that changes at all because usually it's tough to win two games against your division, much less very convincingly. I mean, the Eagles really just squashed Dallas last time. So I really have a feeling that Dallas' offense is going to rebound in a big way. I look for Dallas to score a lot of points on Philly, and pretty much due to Philly, what Philly did to them about two or three weeks ago. I think it was two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago. So I look for Dallas to completely dominate and beat the Eagles and take first place in the NFC East. So Dallas plus three, take them. All right, my second pick is the New York Giants, minus 6.5, and, and Jason's is the Cincinnati Bengals, plus 1.5. Sean, what's your second pick? All right, for my second pick this week, I like the Indianapolis Colts, who are minus 6.5 against the Houston Texans. Now, the Texans are a mess with Clowney coming out, you know, getting injured, and they did well in the beginning of the year, and they kind of tailed off, and they're just sort of an off-and-on team, I would say, overall. And Indy's been pretty solid against the spread. I think there's something like 9-4 and four or 9-3 and three against the spread. Whatever the official number is, I don't have. But they're doing very well against the spread. So let's go with Indianapolis here, minus 6.5 over the Houston Texans. Take All right, my third pick is the Atlanta Falcons, plus 2. I actually think they're going to win the game outright, but I'm going to take them with the plus 2. And Jason P's third pick is the Colts, minus 6.5. Send it over to Sean for his pick. All right, for my third pick this week, I like the Denver Broncos, who are minus four over the San Diego Chargers. Now, Denver's kind of struggled in the first half of games the last couple weeks before turning it on the second half. Had a couple close misses against, I believe it was the Rams and the Dolphins. Um, this week, I think they handle San Diego fairly easily, and the line's only four, so I think Denver's a much better team here. Let's go with Denver, minus four. Take them. All right, for my lock of the week, I like the Cleveland Browns, minus one and a half, and Jason P's lock of the week is the Oakland Raiders, plus 10. Sean P, what's your lock of the week? All right, my lock of the week this week. The lock of the week you're all waiting to hear for the rebound game this week. Now, as Jason P likes to say, I say the least amount on my lock of the week, and really, I mean, the numbers back me up, so I really don't need to say much. If you see my lock of the week's numbers, and you know it's 10 and 4, you're waiting for the lock of the week, and you're going to take the advice seriously because it's been hitting very well. This week, I like Green Bay, who is minus four over the Buffalo Bills. Take them. All right, that's going to do it for me. And remember, when life hands you lemons, take them. All right, so there's our Week 15 video. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, leave your comments below. Let us know what you think of our picks, and let us know what your picks are. And as always, we will see you next week.